friends, this is Bushra, your business and credit coach from ZP Digital Marketing and ZP Financial Solutions. So uh, this video is a continuation of the last video where I taught you how to price your ebook. In this video, I'm going to talk about five elements you have to have in your book ebook cover design. Ebook cover is something that could increase your sales tremendously it could make a huge difference. There are a lot of authors out there fail because of just their cover, cover design. I might, my next video is coming where I'm actually teaching you and I will um, include some of the authors that you can look up how their um, books just flopped because of uh, the cover design. So create, create a clever cover, like it should, you should, when you create your cover, you should keep your customer persona in mind that it should be very relevant to your customers. By looking at your ebook cover, they should be able to know what's inside and they should connect with you via that cover. Because the cover is not, you're not going to use just that cover design for your ebook itself. You are, or your regular book, you are also going to include that as a mock-up in your mock-up to promote your book, right? You should always be using attractive visual to do. I will include uh, my link so you can see the cover design, how I design covers. So let's go over the um, five elements I'm going to talk about. These are the must-have elements. You have to have them if you are really serious about selling your books in your in your cover design. The very first thing is ebook title. Everybody has ebook title, but then we go for subtitle. Just have ebook title. Make sure that it just should be in one sentence. And then a subtitle should be one or two. And then author's name. Author's name normally on the bottom, you can include by with author name, like by Bushra Tenders, B Tenders, or you could just put your name. That's totally fine either way. The fourth is company name or logo. If you are not, if you're just, uh, you don't have a company, that's fine. You don't have to place a logo. Um, but if you do have a company, put your company name. People should know that, um, you know, then it's a, it's a free marketing for your company as well. And place your logo so it could get into people's head. Last is brand colors and imagery. So use the images that really attract other people and don't overwhelm uh, the design with using unrelevant images or a lot of images. So um, you should use the images that people, uh, as soon as somebody looks, they know. If if you have seen, I recently posted my credit repair ebook, and prior to that, I posted my business credit ebook for the for crows. You know, I sell private label content for uh, credit repair um, on business owners for coaches for for entrepreneurs and small business owners. So my recent book must be on my page recently. You have seen that I included the house and then a small car was there because people uh, do buy houses and fix their credit. They need the credit to purchase a car as well or credit card. And then I include my company's name, my name, Title, I don't know if I have subtitles. Sometimes I slack with subtitles if I don't have like, you know, a place, but it's not a good practice. You should include the subtitles. But since my name was very visible, very like very relevant, so I did not really need to use my subtitles, you know. You know that people say, most of the time people say to not to judge the book by its cover. But how many of you think that they don't, they really follow that idioms or proverb? They're always trying to do it regardless of that, right? It's just a saying a lot of people don't follow that. They will definitely judge your book by, the, by its cover. 
So um, that being said, use visual hierarchy to organize the content. Your title should be in a largest font, then your subtitles, then your author's name, your uh, um, company names should be whatever uh, font you use. Your logo is the image definitely, or if it's a word logo, then place it accordingly that it shouldn't look like a jumble mumble of the word. I might not have said this jumble mumble right because uh, I always mess up things. <laughs> Again, you can see my examples and um, I will I will place somewhere in, in the description just to give you an idea. And my next video might be that I will be teaching you how to create the book cover. Let's, let's repeat the five must have element in your book cover design to include ebook title in a largest font, subtitle in a smaller form, author's name, company name and logo if you are a company if you're just an independent author on kdp have no company that's totally fine too brand colors and and imagery even if you're an independent author selling on kdp make sure you do include you, you pick some colors to be consistent there so that's it for today i hope you like the videos give it a thumbs up and if I if you see this on my YouTube channel, please subscribe to my channel. I really I could use your support and let me know. Post it, um, post in your in, in the comments your question. I will be um, willingly. I, I will be happy to answer those questions or um, leave a comment on YouTube so um, we can stay connected. Take care and have a fabulous day.